I'm Michal Gendi. I'm a radiologist by profession. I've been running the radiology services in Asuta for the last eight years. And for the last year, I'm also the head of innovation in Asuta. I am working in a setup that is mostly outpatient. And still in outpatient clinic, you still want to know whether you have an urgent case. People are coming in, they're walking. Nobody assumes that they're in a really dangerous condition or dangerous spot. And a lot of time, the first one to identify that there is a serious condition might be the technician who is doing the actual study. And nowadays, in most places, also in Asuta, there isn't a doctor sitting next to every technician. They're sitting on their own. It might be the middle of the night, somebody walks in. So currently, we are using uh, intracranial hemorrhage solution, and we're using the pulmonary embolism solution, both the regular one and the incidental one. Um, they're very, very, very effective. Maybe after the second day that we had IDOC installed, I personally took care of a case of somebody that came in for a follow-up after a brain operation. She had a bleed. Actually, our technician did see the bleed, but he assumed that the bleed is acceptable because the woman was after an operation, although she came from home. But when IDOC shouted, there is a bleed, they decided to show it to someone. At the time, it was me. And I sent the patient on the car when they were driving home. I said to her, no, instead of driving them home, go to the place where you had your operation. And she was hospitalized for a week. So there are lots of small stories like that, that for them, you want a scenario like ours, which is an outpatient scenario, which is not a classical scenario, for urgent cases to have something like IDO so that you know that if something really bad is happening, you could tell the patient what he needs to do at the right time and he doesn't need to wait for days until somebody looks at the study. I believe AI is going to be a standard of care and we need to learn how to live with this solution and enjoy it. And the only way to do that is to bring good AI solution to the ward and have the doctors feel comfortable with them. And I can say that I think in that case as well, IDOC was a really good fit because it was the first solution we actually installed. And I think by choosing a smart solution, which doesn't disturb the workflow, doesn't really always criticizes you, doesn't always tell you, look back at this, look, do that, and is really concise gives you the image where it thinks that there is a finding. It's a really smart solution in that sense. In the end, it will push us all forward. So I think there, is, there should be a real aim to getting more and more radiologists involved in uh, pursuing AI solution, in deploying them, testing them, and learning about them.